You must have quick hands, especially when you play basketball. Now, these drills that I'm doing, you can do them at any time, at any place. You don't have to go in the gym. You can do them at home. You can do them in a bathroom. You can do them anywhere you want. You can do these types of drills. And they're great drills as far as your coordination, your concentration, confidence. Look, I'm only here for one purpose. I'm here to teach you how to have a little extra edge over your opponent, over the person. You see, when I used to go different places, if I wasn't playing basketball, I would think that someone else was. Someone in L.A. or Boston or New York was playing basketball, so I said, hey, what am I doing? I got to get out there and play. And that's what this video is all about. The skills of learning how to handle the ball, different drills, fundamental basic drills, and creative fundamental drills. So get ready, get your ball, and let's do our homework. The first basic ball handling drill I want to show you, it's a warm-up drill. Not only is it a warm-up drill, it's a, uh, a good stretching drill for the entire body to start into this ball handling. So you get your ball right now and let's go into it. It's called squeeze the banana. Now, it got that name because what you want to do is you want to extend your arms completely out like this over your head. You want to lock your elbows. Now, the big thing about doing this, these drills is to execute them. Don't try to cheat. Just execute them. And as you do them, repetitiously more and more you'll get better at it so don't forget arms out like this the ball of course is in the right hand or the left hand your elbows are locked now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the ball literally squeeze the ball out of my hand like this back and forth just like this and what this is doing well I'm telling you what it's doing it is really strengthening my fingers my fingertips it's really strengthening my wrist you see I'm not tapping the ball, I'm absolutely squeezing it out. Now if you did this for a, a minute, two to three minutes, your arms will just cave in. Try it sometime. Try to do it for three minutes. Just squeeze back and forth. Lock your arms out. That's called squeeze the banana. Do it. Next drill on tap is just that, the tap drill. Now where's that come from? Well again, what you want to do is you want to warm up okay but you want to strengthen your fingertips while you're doing that because when you strengthen your fingertips how's that going to come into play when you dribble a basketball when you catch the basketball when you pass the basketball and when you shoot the basketball you gotta have strong fingertips you have strong a strong grip on the ball you have strong wrist and that's what these ball handling drills do they will strengthen you they'll make your hands that much quicker you will have better reaction time on the court with your hands with your body you'll be more coordinated so the tap drill, same different, just like the uh, squeeze the banana. We're going to extend our elbows out, but this time we're going to tap the ball back and forth. See, we're just going to tap it back and forth like this. Elbows are extended now. It's very important that you lock those elbows. Now the object of this drill, we're going to go all the way down like this, tapping the ball with the elbows extended all the way to this area, and then back up. Now, what happens? Normally, what will happen is this. Let's start to do it, and I'll show you what will happen. Okay, we start tapping. Elbows extended. Let's go down now. Keep it going back and forth. Elbows extended. That's right. That's right. Keep going. Keep going. What happened? What happened? Tell me. You know what happened. You lost the ball. Where'd you lose it? You lost it right when you got to here. It came out of hands. You know why you lost it? I'm going to tell you why. Because your hands, they're not strengthened enough. They're not, you gotta have strong hands, you gotta have strong fingertips. That's why these drills will strengthen your fingertips. So let's get back up. Try to control it now. Let's tap it. Okay, elbows locked out. That's right. Tap it back and forth. All the way down. Tap it, keep it in there. Oh, it's tough right in here. This is where it's tough. Now come back up. That's right. Come back up. That's right. Let's go down one more time. Come on. I know it hurts. It hurts me too. Come on. Keep through. Come on. Keep going. Keep it down here, that's right. Try to do it right here. Boy, it's tough. Come on back up now. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Yeah, right. Why'd you quit then? Don't quit. Keep going. The tap drill. Boy, that'll strengthen your arms, your shoulder. It'll strengthen your hands, your fingertips. It'll give you good quick movement between. It's a good warm-up drill. First we had squeeze the banana, then the tap drill. Now we're gonna do the pendulum swing. Again, the pendulum swing 
is a drill that's just going to strengthen our fingertips. It's going to strengthen our fingertips. That's what we want to do. It's a warm-up drill. We want to strengthen. Now, what do we do? Here's what we're going to do. Take the ball in one hand. Remember, this is like a suction cup. Make sure you got that hand over it. Just like the tentacles of an octopus. You want that hand right over it like this. Now, turn your hand over. And we're going to go back and forth and really push it into that, that cup. Push it in, see? Push it. And then just lower. Just a pendulum swing, see? A pendulum swing. Back and forth, see? It looks simple. It looks real simple until you get higher and higher, see? Then you got to have more control. You got to maintain more control, see? That's it. Keep going. That's it. Way up. Way up. Get it in there. That's right. The pendulum swing. Do it. Next drill we're going to talk about is the flip roll. Now, we just took you through some strengthening drills. Squeeze a banana, tap drill, the pendulum swing. So you should be warmed up at this point. Now, what we're going to get into now is the reaction part, the quickness part, the coordinating part of the drills. These ball handling drills are creative, and they're also going to make you quicker. They're going to make you faster. You're going to have to have more concentration but they're also going to affect your game a great deal because they're going to be positive things for your game if you can learn how to do these drills. The first one is called the flip roll. What you want to do, I was taught this by Gator Rivers who plays with the Harlem Globetrotters. He taught me this little drill, and I couldn't do it at the beginning either. It didn't take me very long to get it, but once you get it, it's a good drill from a quickness standpoint and a coordinating standpoint. Take the ball in your hand like this, and what you want to do is flip the ball over and make it come over the back of your hand. See? over the back of your hand. Flip it, over the back. Flip it, over the back. Then you bring your left hand in. As it's flipping over that hand, you bring your left hand in. It's going over here, and then you have to flip your hand over and catch it. You see? So it's here, here, and catch it. See? Here, here, and catch it. See? Here, bring that left hand in and catch it. See? Catch it. Back this way, catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. The flip roll. See? Real simple. Once you learn it, it's a good drill. Boy, if you did this, take this to your daddy. Say, look, Dad, I want to show you the flip roll. Do that for him. That's positive. Let me tell you, that's a good conditioning drill. It's called Around the World. It's a ball handling drill. It's for coordination. It's for hand quickness. It's for stretching you out. It's a great warm-up drill. You can do it to music. It's an exhausting drill. Good conditioning drill. But first off, you have, must understand that these drills are to make you handle the ball better so that when you're dribbling it, when you're catching it, when you're passing it, when you're spinning, whatever you have to do, when you're grabbing the ball off the board, you'll be able to handle the ball that much better. That's what these drills are for. So remember, the first thing we're going to do here on this around the world is around the head, okay? Around the head. First thing we're going to do is go around just like this. Now, if you're five, six, seven years old, get you a small ball, a real little ball. Take the ball, go around, bring your left hand behind, catch it like this. Bring your right arm over, see? Bring it back just like this. That's right, just like that. Don't go above the head. That's cheating. Don't cheat. Just execute, okay? Go behind, catch. Now, when you learn to do that, then you want to just start passing the ball. Passing the ball behind, see? Passing it behind. Now, my left hand becomes like an electronic eye, okay? It's my eye. I, I lose sight of the ball here. I'm passing it, and I've got to be able to feel that ball. I know it's coming. It's just uh, intuition, whatever you want to call it. It's there. I know it's there, all right? So, just pass it like this. That's right. Back and forth. See, that's it. Just keep going. Now, what we want to do is we want to just get a little bit faster. Keep that head stationary and go all the way around like this. That's right. That's it right there. That's around the top of the head, part one of Around the World. Hey, it's fun. Around the World, part two, Around the Waist. This is the second part. We went around the head, okay? We learned how to do that. Now we're going to learn how to go around the waist. 
Of course, you've done this before, but maybe you haven't done it as intensified as you should do it because this is a great ball handling drill when you get all the way through it to warm you up and everything else and especially condition you to make your hands quicker, to make them quicker. You're really going to feel this in your arms and your shoulders. If you did this drill for three straight minutes, you'd be laying on the floor. That's how difficult it is. If you do it as hard as you can, that's where you'd be on the floor, unless you're in tremendous condition. I know I'd be on the floor, okay? So maybe you wouldn't, but I would. Now, what you want to do is, again, we're going to take the ball, we're going to go around, bring that left hand behind, catch it, come back around, just like this. That's how you learn to do it, see? Now, if you're too small, then you get a real small basketball. You don't have to have a big basketball. Get a small little basketball, okay? Do the same thing. Even get a tennis ball. If you're only three years old, get a tennis ball and just come around like that, okay? Get a tennis ball, just like this. That's right. All right, now, what we want to do is just basically start throwing the ball, see? Throwing the ball. See how I'm throwing it in front, throwing it in back, throwing it. Why? Because when you throw it, then you're going to start to get speed. You're going to get momentum on the drill, okay? On the drill, see? We're going to start doing it just like this, see? Now, when you do this right, and when you're in condition, when you're in shape, you should be able to do, this is one, two, three, you should be able to do 60 to 75 repetitions around your waist in 30 seconds. That's right, 30 seconds. Hey, it's a killer, but I'm telling you what, if you can do 75 of these around your waist, I can tell you one thing, you can handle the basketball, okay? So let's do it a little faster now, ready? All right, we're gonna start doing around. If you're tired already, so am I. Let's keep going, ready? Let's, let's, let's do it for a few seconds, ready? Let's go, come on. Okay, that's around the waist, part two of around the world. Hey, it's fun, it's conditioning drill, break on through, you can do it. Now we went around the head and we went around the waist and that's around the world, around the head, around the waist and you're probably saying, hey, I'm tired. Is there any more to this? Well, there is. There's two more parts to this, and we're going to get through them because you're going to like it. Hey, you've got to break through. You've got to pass through that pain barrier. That's what this is all about is to make you be able to handle the ball better. See, the more repetitious you are, the more repetitious you are when you handle the basketball, the better you're going to become. It's like anything else. If you read a book 500 times, and I'll read it one time, who's going to know more about the book? You are. That's, that's, that's just common knowledge. There's no shortcut to success. It's called hard work and commitment. And this is what you gotta do with this drill. So let's get into it right now. We're gonna put our toes together like this, our feet together, just like this. The object of this is going around, right between, our, around our calf. From the knee to the ankle, we're gonna go around in this fashion. You're gonna bend over. Now look, look at the hand, same way as around the waist and around the head. Just pass it, pass it around. Make contact, make contact, then let go. Again, if you're a real small kid, Okay, if you're six, seven years old, get a small ball, get a tennis ball, get a baseball, and do this right here, see? Real slow, see? Don't try to do it fast in the beginning, okay? Now, same thing. We want to go around as fast as we can with this. So let's start building up steam, okay? Come on. Let's just keep going now. That's right. Keep going. Okay, that's around the legs, part three. Hey, you can do it. Okay, we're down to the last part. It's called in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Now, this is a coordinating part of the drill. It's also the quickness part of the drill. It's going to involve your feet and your legs and your arms and your hands. It's going to require you concentration, conditioning, quickness. It's going to make you a better ball handler. In the fourth quarter, when you get real tired on the court, that's what these drills do. They condition you so that you'll be able to catch the ball. You'll be able to grab that last rebound. You'll be able to get that shot off quicker than you thought you could. Okay? That's what this is for. All right, let's go down here and see. Now, what I'm going to do is just like this, we're going to go around just like the third part go around here like this but there's one difference one time when we come around one time around the legs we're gonna drop back this right foot drop it back 
Now we're going to go through like this, the left leg. Bring the right foot back up. Now we're going to go all the way around again. Now we're going to drop the left foot. Drop the left foot back. Go through. Come back up with it. All the way around. Let's go over it again. Right foot's back. Get it back. That's right. Go through. Bring it back up. All the way around. Drop that left foot back. That's right. Drop it back. Good. Back up. All the way around. Drop the right back. See? We got this in and out movement. See? In and out. See? In and out. See? See how I'm leaning? See how I've got rhythm? See how I've got harmony? Coordination? Quickness is going to come in a second, okay? In and out, around the world, around the top of the head, around the waist, around the legs, in and out around the ankles, all right? Hey, it's a great drill, great conditioning drill. It's a fun drill. You can do it with time. Don't forget, get 60 or 70 of these in, in 30 seconds. Build up to a minute, to two minutes, to three minutes. It's tough to do, but you can do it. Pistol P draw. Now this is a drill which requires a great deal of anticipation, a great deal of hand quickness, and you can use your friend, your, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, whoever you want, but it's a fun drill to do. Now I'm gonna call in a friend of mine, Daryl's gonna come on in here. Now let me explain and set this up for you. Now the Pistol P draw took place when uh, my dad developed this. Uh, he used to, I used to always watch Gunsmoke when I was a small child, and and they always have those western where the guy would come up and say, okay, you draw, no, you draw, and they'd try to beat the draw, and whoever could do that would win. Well, my dad developed a drill out of this for hand quickness, and the drill is this. Daryl just stands like this, stands very straight like this. He's going to keep his hands to his side, and I'm going to put the ball right at the base of his back right here, okay? Right, the, right at the base, right here, right below his shoulder blades. Now, the object of the drill is for him to clap his hands in front Clap him in front, bring him back, and catch the ball, okay? But the thing is, he doesn't know when I'm going to drop the ball. You see, that's where the draw comes in. He's got to anticipate. He's got to have hand quickness. He's got to concentrate, and that's what this drill is all about. This is a fun drill. Watch Daryl. Now, whatever you do, Daryl, don't listen to me, okay? Whatever you do, don't listen to me. You just always get ready. Have your hands ready and get ready. Okay, that's good. See, I won that one, you see? So we we'll, we'll just don't... You don't have to have them on your side. Don't listen to me, Daryl. Don't listen to me, Daryl. See, you can't, this is really fun. This is, believe me, you, this, this is great. And stand up straight, though. That's right. Don't listen to me, Daryl. Don't listen. Just, 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 that's good. Okay. He's doing real good. He's, he's, you know, he's been in boot heel four times already. Okay, we're going right here again. We'll try it two more times, okay? See, he's really getting quick. See that? Oh, he's, he's, he's good. Almost. He almost got that one. We'll try it one more time for Daryl. Yes, sir, Daryl. You're doing a good job. Okay. This is the last time we're going to do it. Oh, he tried to do it. Now Daryl's going to try it on me. Daryl likes to try this on me. He really enjoys this. No, no that's, too, that's too low now. Just put it up here in the back there. That's right. Thank you, Daryl. It's been real fun with you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. So you see, that's the pistol P draw. Now, if you're real quick, if you can anticipate, if you can concentrate, then you won't go in the boot hill. Now we're going to do the space catch. The space catch, the coordinating part of it, the quick part of it, because I don't want you to move now. Get your ball in front of you. Now I want to throw the ball up in the air, all right? I want to coordinate myself to throw the ball up in the air and catch it behind me. That's all it is. It's called the space catch. Throw it up, catch it, just like that. Come back. Let's do it. Try it again. Go ahead, go, go get the ball. I know it went under the couch. Go ahead, go get it. Okay, ready? Do it again. Good, just like that. One more, keep going. See, that's right. See, this is the coordinating part of the drill right here. It looks simple. It looks real simple, but it's not. It's not, is it? You just can't seem to stand still, huh? But this is what you want to do. 
You want to be able to throw the ball up, coordinate yourself to throw the ball up and catch it behind you without moving. And we'll go back and forth, back and forth, without moving. Remember, you're in cement. You can't move. This is the coordinating part of this drill. You don't want to move. You want to get it to where you can just sit there and throw the ball back and forth, back and forth. Back, forth. It'll come back. You don't see it? Come right over your head. Back, forth. Just like this. Don't move. Learn to do it. Now, if you got to move in the beginning, fine. Go ahead and move, okay? I don't want to make this because you got to learn how to do it first. If you got to move to get the ball, move. But the object of the drill is to stay stationary. Also, don't bend your back. Whatever you do, don't bend your back. What'll happen? Well, let's see what'll happen. If I'm like this and I bend my back, it's going to go off my back, okay? Now we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take the ball and throw it up high, higher and higher, because then I want to run under it. I want to make sure that I can catch it. Now the ball is going to be coming down a lot faster than when I throw it up. So you got to run under it, it's, and you got to be careful because if you don't, the ball hits you in the head, or you might break your nose looking up at there. So you got to you got to really know what you're doing. Okay, we're going to start kind of kind of slow. You won't be able to see the ball going way up, but uh, just by the time you'll see that it takes it takes a long time for it to get back. Okay, you can move on this one now. You want to get under? Let's see. Well, you see, sometimes I throw it so high. I... Well, this is the highest I've ever thrown it. I... Believe me, I, I didn't think I was going to throw it that high. Okay. Man, that's the highest I've ever thrown it. Hey, you can do the same thing. Believe me, you can do it. Now we went over the coordinating part of that drill called the space catch, the space catch rhythm. Then throw the ball way up, try to run under it. Now we're going to do something different. I'm going to throw the ball up in the air, okay? I'm going to let the ball bounce, and I'm going to run under it, okay? And then I'm going to throw it up as high as I can. I'm going to let it go behind me, let it bounce, and catch it. That's the coordinating part. We've got to get these, this coordination down before you do the quickness part. So here we go. The ball is up, we're going to let it come in front, I'm going to run under and catch it. Looks very simple. Let's try it again. Throw it up, let it bounce once, go under it, catch it. Okay? Now I'm going to throw it up, let it bounce behind, catch it. One more time. Let the ball bounce behind and catch it. Now that is the space catch with coordination. The pretzel. A great coordinating drill, a great quickness drill. Now let's set it up. Right now, you're going to bend over, just like this. We're going to bend over. We're going to place the ball in our right hand. We're going to put it right between our legs, just like this. Our left hand goes behind our left leg. You grab the ball, OK? You got it? Right hand in front, left hand behind. Now what I want to do is I'm going to do a figure eight. That's why it's called the pretzel, because I'm going to let the ball go. My right hand's going to go behind. My left hand's going to come in front and catch the ball. See, it's going to be suspended in the air. Watch. Real easy. Now that's the coordinating part of the drill. Then you want to just take your time, and add a little speed to it, a little more quickness to it. The pretzel. It's a great drill of coordination and quickness. I'm going to walk in. Okay, let's do it slow again. Back. Now we're going to do the running pretzel. Same way, same position. But what you're going to do is this. Remember that all these drills, they're to improve your quickness, improve your coordination, make you concentrate. 
You see, you have to concentrate. If you don't concentrate, then you won't play instinctively out on the court. You won't know what's going on. You won't be able to break down concepts that you get into, involved in. Like sometimes your coach says, why didn't you roll? I didn't know, coach. I didn't know. Well, you see, you're not thinking instinctively. You've got to be able to break down these concepts. These drills will make you concentrate, make you think better, so that you'll be better on the court. Now, let's go over it again. Just going to go through like that, but we're going to run and do it, okay? Let's do a few. Whew. The running pretzel. Hey, it's tough. It's exhausting. It's a conditioning drill. You should do that up and down the court, back and forth. You'll see that your ball handling skills will improve tremendously. We're going to take the ball right here. We're going to place it behind us, just like this. Hands are behind. All right. Now, I'm going to throw the ball through, get my hands around, and catch it. All right? I'm going to throw it back through and catch it. See, see my knees? See the little seesaw movement I'm having? Up and back. 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 That's called the seesaw. That's the coordinating part of it. Now, let's do the quickness part. We're going to do this a little bit quicker now, okay? A little bit quicker, all right? Up and back. Now, let's just keep going now. 